I'm, uh, I'm Olivier Rodi, I'm Professor of Finance and Risk Management at Fondação Dom Cabral, and I'm native, Italian native. Yes, it looks like it uh, has all the characteristics that define uh, as a black swan. It's unpredictable, was unpredictable before, was unmeasurable, uh, and is still unmeasurable in its consequence, and is, a, is bringing a global effect to the all economies. Let's first talk about Europe and uh, the lesson that we can learn from Europe. Then I will see my, uh, what happened in my, in my native country, Italy. Europe has released several measures in order to contain the spreading of coronavirus. Um, and also economic stimulus measure that try to contain the, the economic consequence of it. The, just quoting the main uh, health measure, I can say the, the object was to flatter the, cu the curve of contagious via a social distancing, um, the individual and the company lockdown with a severe uh, penalty in case of infraction, and the, also the increase of circulation of foreigners with, with the shutdown of national and European border, associated with other measures in the health service, mainly the, the increasing number uh, of the ICU beds in the hospitals. From the uh, other side, from the economic perspective, of course, uh, Europe put it in place uh, several uh, strong action. Um, the first one was the 100 million euro European fund called SURE in order to um, guarantee the, the support to the unemployment and for work preservation policy. Uh, another fund uh, uh, issued by the European Investment Fund of 200 billion. The liquidity measure, such as the quantity easing from the European Central Bank in order to stabilize the financial uh, system in Europe, as well known as liquidity bazooka. The liquidity stimulus for SME and, and uh, micro entrepreneur, and, also, and last but not least, the issuing of new debt at the European level. Uh, this is a point that raises a debate, is a lively debate that today is going to be decided in the, in, the, in the meeting of the European Council. It's an informal meeting in which um, uh, they will decide that uh, there will be no coronavirus, but we will go for uh, um, a special credit line that each country can ask uh, to the European stability mechanism in order to get uh, a maximum of 2% of JDP has um, a, a credit uh, line to be used um, exclusively for, for um, COVID incremental cost. Frankly, Europe did answer uncoordinated. With uh, Germany and Netherlands, the northern block, the northern block country in Europe, that were uh, opposing to the southern block, Italy, Spain, uh, and etc., uh, in order to set a common strategy for the for the pandemic. This lack of coordination um, results in a, a non-effective uh, reaction of risk mi mi mitigation, especially at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, and as a consequence, of course, uh, the weaker country and country with a high GDP over the public debt ratio resulted very uh, vulnerable to the epidemic and with uh, um, less room in order to uh, fight against the illness. Italian made a main mistake. That was the late identification of the problem associated with a slow government reaction to the epidemic. Uh, the Italian government underestimated the problem when it was in the early stage in Codorno. Uh, but other factors also contributed to the unsuccess. The government coalition is non homogeneous. Uh, there is a fragmented responsibility in the health. Um, for regional, among regional, municipality, and national level. And the demographic factor doesn't help. Italy is the, one of the countries with the older population in the world. 
as a consequence, the pandemic was out of control. The, we had a collapse of the health service, in, especially in some region, in the northern region, and uh, we call it for an immediate and long-term lockdown. Uh, among the action that uh, have been undertaken to protect the economy, we can say that Italy did uh, quite well with the decree uh, Cura Italia where uh, a package of helps based on uh, tax delaying, uh, wage integration funds uh, were issued in order to help the, the population in, in this uh, extremely um, severe uh, environment. But the action to preserve, to preserve life, job uh, and internal demand were not able to contain the GDP decrease. As a consequence, we experience a reduction of the internal demand and also a freezing of investment and exportation, including uh, one of the most revel revel relevant part of our, um, of our exportation, that is tourism and Oreca. Brazil is, for many aspects, very similar to Italy, you know, for the political and macroeconomic. Uh, factor. Well, we experience here too a very slow reaction to health and economic trade due to a conflict among the federal government, the state governors, and the municipality. Very similar to Italy. And a high conflictual political scene with some politicians, very top politicians, still denying the dimension of the problem. From the economic perspective, uh, Brazil. Um, is, is also similar to Italy. It has an increasing GDP uh, debt ratio, not at the level of Italy, of, for sure, due to the, the, the last sovereign crisis uh, back with the Plan, Plan Real. Uh, it has a, a high impact of exportation and a dependency of the GDP on the exportation. And at the micro level, we are very similar in terms of high number of informal workers and high number of SME and macro entrepreneurs. Of course, there are also several differences between Italy and Brazil. Uh, some, they might milder the effect of the crisis, such as the a young, a younger population, a lower density uh, in Brazil than in Italy, uh, and the fact that Brazil is a country rich in natural resources. Uh, the differential uh, factor are also in, in, in the bad sense, I mean, some are negative. Uh, for example, being Brazil an emerging market uh, is, is uh, ex negatively exposed to a phenomenon that is called flight to quality, by which every time that there is an increase in volatility, there is a massive, we experience a massive capital outflow from emerging market, in this case, Brazil. As a consequence, Brazil experienced uh, uh, currency depreciation that brought the US dollar to 5.4 uh, reais yesterday, with uh, about 30% depreciation at the, um, at the day of today. Uh, another factor that is negative in this, in this case that can make stronger the crisis here is the fact that the GDP is depending on the commodity market. And now we know that the brand for the first time reached neg a negative, the future for the brand has a negative uh, price, meaning that the exportation of, of oil of Brazil are worth almost zero on the international market. And the last but not, but not less relevant factor is that uh, there is an absence of collateral from other government and state like it happened in, uh, in Europe in, in case of a sovereign bond crisis. And this brings the investor to increase the spread, um, in the interest spread by which they want to negotiate the um, sovereign Brazilian bonds. I, I can start quoting a, a very interesting and recent bulletin of the Bank of International Settlement in which the, the authors investigate the spillover effect uh, 
uh, of uh, in the JDP uh, reduction from pandemic from the pandemic. And uh, the study focuses on uh, both mature and emerging market, not especially in Brazil, but uh, in Brazil, China, India, and the, the main uh, 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 what is considered the main emerging market, and suggests four different scenarios combining a less and more severe uh, scenarios of, co of contagion with a V or W shape of the uh, recovery. As is evident in the graph that you, are you now watching, the author uh, estimates uh, four scenarios uh, combining a less and a more severe scenarios of contagions with a V or W shape of the recovery. Uh, the author estimates that all economy in general will lose a minimum of, of 6% in quarter two, in case that there will be a less severe contagion scenarios. This loss will be partially recovered starting from quarter three to, 2000, up, uh, to, to uh, 2021, uh, if the recovery will have a V-shape. But in case the, the, the shape of recovery will be a W, meaning uh, we will start a little of recovery, then we will, we will have another recession and then uh, uh, another recovery. This mainly due to the geopolitical aspect of uh, the fight between US and China on the commercial, uh, on the commercial um, perspective. Uh, in these in this second scenarios, the um, quarter three will be the lowest point of the crisis, and uh, the JDP uh, will decrease of 9% in mature markets and 10% in emerging markets. But if the scenario will be of contagion will be more severe, meaning in the uh, worst scenario here, uh, you will, we will have a crisis that will reach a maximum of 12% of GDP in emerging market, including Brazil, and the recovery of half percent of this 12% will um, engage us up to the thousand or to 2021. There will be a spillover effect. Of course, the study also analyzed uh, this, this um, issue stating that looking at the 12% of um, decrease of the JDP, 6.6% of, of this is, can be, uh, is responsibility of the, of the internal forces in the country. But another 5.9% is a consequence of spillover effect coming from other economy. Namely, for us and for Brazil, I'm saying now, the um, Chinese uh, potential crisis as a consequence of the commercial uh, war with, with the US. And also uh, the slowdown of the European market uh, that are buyers of food and, uh, and manufacturing goods uh, from Brazil. Of course, this large uh, spillover effect confirmed that there is a uh, high interdependency among the countries and among, among the geographical bloc, and suggest that there is a need for a global response to, go, to COVID. As I just mentioned now, political unity in facing the crisis both at the national and international level is a must. Second, a good balancing between epidemic and economic measures. Third, a lot of common sense in the population. Stay at home in this first uh, phase of the crisis is very relevant. And this might save Brazil and the world from a deepest recession ever. Each of us can play a role as an individual, in my case as a professor, and all of you as an entrepreneur. Let's start staying at home. Andrà tutto bene.